I'm sitting here today with Tanya Alexeeva, a wellness coach from London, born in Russia, raised in New Zealand and now in London. And I really believe that she at this moment is the go-to girl for health food coaching and raw food coaching in the UK. So I'd like to ask Tanya some questions and I'd like to ask her some of her top strategies that she uses with the client, that the clients that she coaches. So thank you, Tanya. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Can you tell me and the audience a little bit about your background and where you came from? Absolutely. So my um, nutritional background stems all the way back from when I was about 14 years old. So it all started with a car crash. You know, most people that come into this lifestyle, it is pretty much by default. Uh, for me, it uh, started with a crash. So um, there was a lot of damage done to my internal organs. I broke my back. I still have screws and, uh, and a plane joining my spine. Uh, but what happened as well is, you know how you put a seatbelt on this way and here? Well, I was 14, I was uncomfortable, I was in the back singing away, so I actually moved the seatbelt underneath. So when the impact happened, it was all on the internal organs. And so the doctors at that time, I mean, they really didn't know what to do. They told my parents, you know, you have a choice. Do we cut out her pancreas because it is so bruised, it's so swollen. I'm this skinny kid lying down with this giant, you know, bruised like pregnant woman's belly and and they said well do we leave it you know and my parents were absolutely shocked that they were given a choice but the doctors I mean didn't really know what to do with me uh, so they asked them what is going to happen if we leave it what's going to happen we cut it out they didn't know either way so uh, luckily my you know I'm so so lucky my parents just went with their intuition and then went, we're going to go our own way, we're going to do this holistically, we're going to do this naturally because this is our daughter's vital organ, it's not going anywhere, you know, she's got a really uh, big life ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So um, we just started juicing okay. and you know, at that time there were no books all about it. Google just came out that year, you weren't going to go on the internet and start looking, you know, looking out how, how to heal your back, how to you heal your pancreas, I mean it just wasn't around, so you had to literally. Well, where did you get the idea from, from to start juicing? Um, I think it was all about you know how to get the most nutrients out of your food. Nutrients yeah. out of vegetables. Yeah. I mean, you know that vegetables are raw. You know that vegetables are living things. And now these are very very common words. And at that time, you just had to go. It's like, all right, well these things they come out of the ground. They were given to us by nature. They have got to be healing. Yeah. You know, they're there for a reason. Yeah. And so you were a child, you had a, you had a big accident, you had a, a, a pregnant woman told, a woman told me. Well, what, what happened after when you, when you started juicing? And um, at that time as well, because obviously uh, everything was like so swollen, my body was rejecting everything, every single thing that was going in would go straight back out. I mean, there was so much change going on. So everything, you know, and because everything was mostly like going out, I wasn't getting any nutrition, I was so deprived of energy, I, I lost so much weight, I could not move at all. So through juicing, my parents knew that that was the way to get all the goodness out of a whole heap of vegetables, mm -hmm. you know, in one glass, mm -hmm. and to have in one go. And my body accepted liquids, and it was very slowly, you know, a little step at a time, that I just started healing, I just started feeling really, really good and really mm -hmm. quickly. Mm -hmm. When we went back to a checkup, um, I had a full on body brace for months and months and you know, the doctor said it, it can come off, we don't realize it would come off now, but get it off, you're, you're perfect, you know, what did you do? And of course telling them was pretty useless at the time. Yeah. And saying that now, things have really changed. Yeah. I have a lot of doctor friends that are very holistic, but mm -hmm. they do their own research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so how did you transition in from from just being being a girl and, and doing drinking your juices into becoming a coach? Um, well, then life happens, and you become a teenager, and you know, and you start um, doing all kinds of crazy things. And but deep down inside, I knew that every single thing comes down to nutrition. It comes mm -hmm. down to your body. Um, so many years later, uh, my parents came across testimonials on raw food books and they introduced me to it and, and you know it was interesting because raw food was, it was just such a new concept 
but it felt so right. I remember it all the way back at 14 when I was doing all of this. It was, I just knew it was the way to go. So I started to very, very slowly just kind of try out new things, you know, got, um, got a proper juicer, got a proper blender, uh, and a, a dehydrator, and just started playing around. And it was a really gradual process, uh, but the changes I saw were not gradual. Mm. They were very instant. Mm. The moment you put good things into your body, mm. it just, it is so appreciative, and it wants more, that it gives you, you know, changes instantly. It's like, look how good you're looking. Look how quickly you can lose weight. Like, look how, uh, how amazing you're feeling. Don't you see? And it was, yeah, it was awesome. And you know, every single time, I get a bit of a, you know, my naughty side comes out and I want to sway off. I just remember how good, really good stuff makes you feel. And you just, you know, and you live in that lifestyle. And once you start feeling good, it's like a snowball effect. Now you don't Definitely. want, you do not want to go yeah. back down to where you were. Yeah, I think that's a great message. And, and uh, what, what do your clients really come to you for? You know, they initially come to me for food. And you, you know, when you see my website, betterall.com, it is about food, it is about raw food, and it's all about living a pure, healthy lifestyle with healthy thoughts. Um, but the moment they start to clear out their kitchen, the moment they start to clear out their diet, changing things within their diet, the moment they start detoxing, so much emotion, so much crap mm. comes to surface mm. that it is everything. From the past or? Absolutely. Mm. From uh, everything, even things they didn't really remember, mm -hmm. things they've been blocking out, mm -hmm. then suddenly they have new memories. Mm -hmm. You know, something comes to surface and you're like, where did that even come from? Mm. But because it does, that you have to deal with it. Mm. And, and that's what we do. And we, you know, we take it one step at a time and we deal with things and we change the belief system and mm. uh, we make those changes. Um, and so it, it is, it, it is a really beautiful, gradual process. And yeah. the whole time you really feel healing effects yeah. that, that happen within your body. But because the energy changes, it changes for everybody else mm. around you as well. You radiate all mm. of the stuff. It affects your family and your friends. And Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. And not, you know, even people you don't know. Mm. All, all of a sudden, you strip yourself off everything that's been blocking you up. And suddenly, the things that have been standing in your way, mm. they're not in your way anymore. They're yeah. right there in front of you. And all yeah. these new people that need to be in your life, that yeah. need to help through a certain process, a certain stage, they just appear. Yeah. Where were they before? Yeah. Yeah, well, because you, you went self, you fit yourself first, yeah. right? You fixed your health, your emotions, yeah. your body, and you got the right basis to do, made to, to do other All things. All starts within yourself. Yeah. Stop trying to fix other people around you. Yeah. Start within yourself. Yeah. Start in your diet. That's what we do most often. Mm -hmm. Eat, eat, eat. Mm -hmm. So start within your food, and then everything. Just watch everything unfold. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It becomes so easy. Yeah. So, so what is like your, your, your free step plan? What do you do with your clients? And that, that could we also use at home when we're watching this video. The first thing would, you know, it all comes down to change. Mm -hmm. And well, first of all, you really have to know what you want. You know, so we really dig through that. We really work out what is it that you really want? How is it that you really want to feel? You know, paint me a picture just Take me through it, uh, you know, show me the end result. Where do you want to be? And, you know, some people might say, oh, really, I just want to lose weight. But it's like, like what do you want to lose weight for? You know, people come up with all kinds of reasons. Suddenly, they just start going, oh, you know, I just really want to be able to play with my kids. I just really want to have more energy to spend more time with the person I love. Mm -hmm. And losing weight is just is an excuse, it's just something that you hear all the time, it's just a very common description. Yeah. But your reason is so much deeper than that, so we yeah. really work through your reason, mm -hmm. why you want to get mm -hmm. to, um, uh, to a certain stage in your life, and then, you know, and then we start going through um, things like change. Mm -hmm. If you want to get somewhere, there has to be change, mm -hmm. but we're so afraid of it. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's so afraid of change, the tiniest little things. 
they just go all the way back. So the first thing is to just really, you know, master excitement. Mm -hmm. of, That's of, your of, reasons why you want to change. And, yeah. and, 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 and what are the questions someone could, could ask himself uh, or herself in, in order to find out their own reasons? Um, their own reasons to... Why do you want to change? Or what are some of the questions that, that they could ask themselves? Well, I call it, uh, I call it uh, my, you know, being a five-year-old method. Mm -hmm. Like a five-year-old kid would just keep going, why, 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 why? They just yeah. never stop. Yeah. So you go, all right, what is your reason for change? Mm -hmm. Then you start, start going, I want to lose weight. It's like, why do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you go, well, you know, I want to feel lighter. Why do you want to feel lighter? Mm -hmm. And next thing, because I want to feel good. Mm -hmm. and why do you want to feel good? Yeah. I want to have more energy. But why? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I am this five-year-old kid. I'm this annoying kid going, why? Why? <laughs> and you see this climbing, and like, I don't know, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Tell me more. And then finally, you seriously, and you just watch this in every single time, whether I'm doing it on Skype, whether it's you know face to face, the moment it really hits them, they just realize the reason and they just seriously break down. It could be you know, just like I said before, it could be all about your kids. Yeah. Well, that weight thing has really got got yeah. to be about my children. Yeah. I really want to spend time with them, and I don't want to get exhausted. And I don't want to take a nap before they do. Yeah. And um, or it could be that the happiest time of my life when I was 25 years old, and I was slim, and I was so full of life. Yeah. And I missed that. Yeah. 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 And you mentioned that so many people are afraid to change. Why do you think people are so afraid? Expectations, mm -hmm. life happens, you know, things develop, mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. all of these external influences mm -hmm. that go on all the time around us, that just shape us. Mm -hmm. And suddenly we think about everybody else and if we forget well, who but we Why are. does it make us fearful for, mm -hmm. for, for change? Um, it's a really good question and it's probably a, every single person has a different reason. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't tell you what what your reason is mm -hmm. for being afraid for change. Yeah. But this is part of the work that I do. We yeah. discover that reason. Is it maybe also fear, um, fear of failure? Fear to, fear to fail the, the, the plan that you're about to follow? Yeah, of yeah. course. Fear of failure is you know, the most common fear out there. Mm -hmm. You think it's being afraid of the dark or spiders. But yeah. everything is all internal. Yeah. It is all within you, and it's all. Um, it's it's just fascinating. Yeah. So how do you help people with that? So um, how do I help people with that? Um, there is no like absolute cookie cutter way mm -hmm. for every person. Mm -hmm. So I. I I work with individuals, but I've also learned that um, even if you work as a really big group, mm -hmm. I mean, there is a method, mm -hmm. and you know, and everyone might have a different reason and mm -hmm. a different result in the way they go about mm -hmm. it. But there are certain steps. So, and every step is simple. Mm -hmm. You know, the first step would always be start in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and the whole change thing. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of change and all of a sudden stop buying all of your all of your takeaways or things that are prepared for you. You eat three times a day minimal. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're like me and I'm a snacker, I, ha I eat about five or six times a day. So that, you know, all of a sudden that's just always in the forefront of your mind. You finish, you finish a lunch and then you thinking about dinner, you've got a family, mm -hmm. you're always planning a dinner, you're mm -hmm. always thinking about that. We're constantly thinking about food. We have become so obsessed mm -hmm. That it is, it, it, it is really crazy, you know, you go out for dinner, you discuss food, mm -hmm. you, um, you see me and you talk about the breakfast, yeah. you know, what you have. Yeah. You talk about your friends, you know, you go out for a coffee and you yeah. discuss, it's, it's constantly food, food, food. So start in your kitchen and really you know, clear out the whole, whole kitchen, mm -hmm. declutter the whole thing, mm -hmm. empty that space, make it your space, make it so free, so mm -hmm. exciting to be there. Um, change the whole energy of it, mm -hmm. you know, the whole perspective of it, of it. Make it your playground. Kitchen is a playground. Definitely. When we were children, you know, our playground was outside and was with toys. Well, there are toys in the kitchen. 
and it's an adult playground. Yeah. So as long as we see it like that, it would stem everything yeah. off in the in, in the exact direction that you didn't even know you yeah. you were going, but yeah. it would lead you the right way. So your first step was know your reasons why and don't be afraid of change. Your second step was clear out your kitchen. What's your first step? Uh, it all comes down to you, right? Everything starts for you. So give yourself time. Mm -hmm. Make time for yourself. You know, you're never going to have enough energy for every single person. But if you have energy for yourself, then everything will always work out, mm -hmm. you know, the, the exact way. So if you want the the absolute, you know, concrete way to have time for yourself, meditate 15 minutes a day. That's mm -hmm. all it takes. Um, put your alarm on for 15 minutes earlier. Get up, you know, don't leave it till the end of the day because at the end of the day, you'll always find a way to make an excuse. Make mm -hmm. it the very first thing. Get into the meditation and you don't have to think about anything. The meditation it is all about clearing your mind and not thinking about anything. Mm -hmm. A thought comes in, just go, I forgive that thought. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's what I do all the time. I mean, thoughts are there constantly. They come in during your meditation, I forgive that thought and just mm -hmm. go back to it. Mm -hmm. And then start your day. It is unbelievable. You do this for a week, every day, it'll consistently, yeah. it will change everything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So right now I think we'd like to know some, get, we'd like to get some tips on what can we do today, right? What can we do now, right after watching this video? And of course you gave some amazing strategies. Um, what, what, what maybe are your, your top tips uh, when it comes to food, what, what, what are the top recommendations you would, you would give, give the viewers right now? Yeah, the very first one would be to, you know, don't worry so much about eliminating things, eliminating things, because we're constantly worried that we're doing something wrong yeah. and, you know, we have to get rid of stuff. Just add. Mm -hmm. Add so, the good stuff. Add the good stuff. Yeah. Add the juice. Mm -hmm. do, the, do the daily juice. You know, be a smoothie, whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Just add, add the juice first. Mm -hmm. Then, um, second so one will be. What, what, what's an idea of the juice? What, what, can you give us a recipe? Of course. Greens, 100%, mm -hmm. all of the time. You know, it's all about the chlorophyll, it's all about the goodness, the healing effect of it. Uh, we want to heal, that's what we want to do, mm -hmm. whether we know it or not. We're striving to do something different. We actually trying to heal something, mm -hmm. so um, make it the juice, mm -hmm. and you know, put the greens in, cucumber, ginger, you know, put in those immunizing properties, mm -hmm. um, and make it enjoyable for yourself. Put some fruit, you know. Stop worrying so much about um, whether fruit is good, fruit is not. It's too too much sugar. Forget about that. It is raw living foods. They're all good. Mm -hmm. You know, pick your favorite things. If you like them, they taste good to you, and have more of them. Okay. Um, and so another another reason, you know, a foodie reason would be to uh, add superfoods. Mm -hmm. And they're just so easy, you know, superfoods are your, um, these amazing roots and healing fruits that are all dry, dehydrated and ground up. They can be in your cupboard. Mm -hmm. They can be just sitting there. They're always there. You don't have to worry too much about, oh, I didn't go shopping and mm -hmm. I didn't do this. It's right there and you know, go by the spoonful, put them in your smoothie, spr sprinkle them on your cereal, make some cookies out of it, whatever, but add the superfoods yeah. in. What are your personal favorites and what are the ones you would start with? Mm -hmm. Personal favorites, um, I'm a very sweet tooth. Okay. So, uh, and you know, something like lacuma, which is a, yeah, which, which is a fruit. And in Peru, it's lacuma flavor ice cream is more popular than chocolate mm. flavor. Wow. You, know, you, you go there and it's lacuma everything and we can get it. And how amazing is that? You know, yeah. we, we can get so much of it here. Yeah. So um, then it's chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is the highest source of magnesium and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. uh, Not a regular chocolate, but mean raw cacao, of course. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, so, so raw cacao powder. You know, because it's so dark, it is so packed with antioxidants. And so, mixing lacuma and, and raw cacao together, oh my god, uh, and mulberries, mm. you know. I just really love, like, this toffee kind of flavor to it, you know, caramel flavor, and they're so chewy and they've got mm. this beautiful texture, and, uh, you know, they're just the most 
amazing snack. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got your goji berries, which are just so vitamin C packed. Um, and you know, the list goes on and on, but yeah, those would be my favorite. Perfect. So you gave us two tips already. Make it juice a day, start any superfoods. What's your third and final tip? You know, go back to simplicity. Do the raw food thing just once. Go for 24 hours. Not just, oh, okay, well, my lunch was raw today or my breakfast because I had a smoothie. But go raw for 24 hours a day and see how you feel. For one day. For one day. Yeah. You know, st don't worry too much about doing massive plans and, you know, doing a huge detox and all these different experts saying different things. Just do this for you one day and see how you feel and then you can decide. Yeah. And then you're actually going to see, you know, you're, you're, I don't want to uh, implant, you know, what might happen for you. It, different things happen to different people. But one thing you will see is your clarity becomes so much cleaner. Mm. You know, you're just able to make different decisions. So mm. you're, going, you're going to know mm. what you can do next, mm. but just 24 hours. Wow. You know? wow. Mm. Well, I think you gave us some amazing insights and, and tips here. So thank you so much. And so I hope for everybody who, who saw this video that they will implement some, some of these things and, and reap the benefits from it. Absolutely. And um, what's the final thing you'd like to say? Stop comparing yourself to people. You know, this life is your life and it's about you and you're special and you're unique. You know, think about you, put yourself first and stop comparing. It's, yeah, live your life the way you want it. Thank you. Mm.